that Darian Ford is set to sign uh, on Sunday, the 14th. And we know that Joseph Pinion, Barry Dunny Jr., and Jordan Walsh all signed yesterday their national letters of intent. Uh, I know we asked you this last week. Has there been any update on when Nick is set to sign his national letter of intent? I've been told that uh, uh, nothing has been determined yet. No final call has been made on whether he will sign early or sign uh, in the spring. So that's where we are as of now. Richard, when you look at the guys that they currently have signed and, and then also that uh, Darren will sign up, we'll, we'll skip Nick for a sec because I think we spent a lot of time on his game, but what do each of these young men bring to the Arkansas basketball program? Uh, you know, with uh, Barry Dunning, uh, he, he's very versatile, uh, score inside out, very long. Uh, his uh, wingspan, I forget the wingspan, but uh, he's, he's, he's got uh, definitely some length. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, he can, he can create some issues there, you know, just because of his length. And uh, like uh, Coach Musk said, he's a very, very uh, good passer, very willing passer. Some guys are more of a, you know, they, you know they'll, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll pass the ball once in a while, but they rather shoot it. So, uh, and then uh, uh, Joseph Pinion, definitely a guy that can struggle from outside, uh, more uh, uh, athletic than most people give him uh, credit for, can drive to the basket. He kind of reminds me uh, of uh, Dusty Hannon's a little bit as far as his ability to go to the basket. Uh, and then uh, he, he's got a good basketball IQ. Uh, then uh, obviously with Jordan Walsh, just uh, f- freaky athleticism, uh, 40, uh, 41 inch vertical. Uh, can just he's a human highlight film when it comes to dunks. And then uh, he's also uh, very long and and uh, can score in uh, multiple ways. He, he, hit, he hit a three the other night, so he he's he's a guy that's probably going to do most of his damage uh, mid-range but can can hit the three and obviously in transition he's uh he's a he's kind of a freakish guy richard it seemed like yesterday you, you know your twitter timelines were just filled up with baseball players signing you had uh you know players in basketball of course as we just talked about i mean you look at the headlines softball had a number one class it seemed like recruiting is on the rise what do you attribute the campus-wide uh, success it seemed like uh, happened yesterday with the signings not just in basketball but uh, the other sports as well yeah i just success on the on the, on the, that particular court uh, field whatever uh, whatever whatever they're playing and then uh, i think uh, you got the you got the right coaches in uh, in place uh, i think that's key uh, coaches that have a game plan and that have the ability to connect with uh uh, the kids and the parents, and uh, you know, I, I was talking to uh, some parents uh, from California a year or two ago, and uh, the mom was said that when initially when uh, her kid was being recruited to to go to Arkansas, she said, "There's no way my kid's going to Arkansas." <laughs> and then uh, they they got talked into making a trip. They make the trip. They fell in love with Fayetteville. And I'll be honest with you, I, I, I had to do some checking. I think they even moved to, to Northwest Arkansas. Uh, the family did, uh, but uh, you know, there's obviously a lot to sell uh, as far as the the area, uh, job possibilities after college, and uh, then the facilities for for uh, just about every uh, sport is uh, usually top notch, and and they give and Arkansas gives you the uh, the budget to be successful. So uh, a lot of a lot of promising things going on right now, and uh, and I think that also just. Uh, just seeing the success of the basketball program, the football program, that also helps too. Yeah, I mean, I all, both, both, both of them are obviously on the national level. Yeah, I, I never pay attention to gymnastics at all, but I was just reading one of the emails. They had a signee from Pennsylvania, one from California, had one kid from Arkansas in their in their four. But I mean, you just think about you know your, your Jordan Weaver, and I never think about this in in gymnastics how do you go identify the best four you can get in in gymnastics i'm sure they have a system in a way and rankings and stars or whatever they they do but i mean pennsylvania california one here that's kind of in your backyard and and that kind of goes on and on and on with these these other sports i I just find that intriguing to me as we're seeing that rising tide lift all boats even though we're going to you know kind of dominate the conversation in football you know next month and then right now with with basketball and and baseball had a good haul too as 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 we've come to just kind of um 
expect every year. I guess we just take it for granted what Dave Van Horn will do. Yeah, I, I think if there's one sport that is uh, just almost automatic as far as having a, a top recruiting class, it's baseball and Coach Van Horn just because of what he's done uh, at Arkansas and then uh, recently going to the uh, World Series. And, and, and I really think that that, that uh, you know that near miss of beating uh, Oregon State for the national championship really caught the attention of a lot of a lot of people, a lot of kids. So uh, it's it's just a given, and he's automatically going to sign a top class. Richard, I know on your message boards you were talking about places that you'd want to go see a bowl game, and you mentioned Nashville with kind of the experience that you and your your wife had down there last time you were there. Is there a team we were discussing earlier? Is there a team you'd like to see Arkansas match up with in this upcoming bowl game that they'll have in front of them? Oh, man, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I haven't really thought about it much, uh, but uh, I don't know. Anytime you, you get to play uh, get to play a Big Ten team, I think that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing because it, uh, the TV audience that, that they usually bring, and, uh, you know, it's, it's considered the second best uh, uh, conference to, to uh, the SEC, and uh, it's always usually an interesting matchup. I'd love to to see them play a Big Ten school, uh, particularly like a Wisconsin, Iowa, Penn State. I think that could be intriguing as well. And, Richard, I think one of the reasons that they are bowling bound is because the play of their kicker, Cam Little, a true freshman, he's 14 for 18, 33 for 33, and extra points on the season. This was the top kicker, according to Coles Kicking, this past year, prize recruit of Scott Fountain. Uh, do you, and I know the special teams as a whole hasn't been great, but do you think we've given this young man enough credit for – really, for the most part, how spot on he's been since I think you have to go all the way back to 2010, Zach Hawker, when we've seen a freshman come in and, and be as lethal as he's been. Uh, they probably wouldn't uh, be as successful. I mean, obviously, it, what he did against Mississippi State was huge. I mean, what was 46, 48, 51? I mean, my God, that, that's uh, – and uh, you miss one of those, you're tied up, you miss two of those, uh, you lose the game. Uh, so, uh, no, I don't think you can uh, overestimate uh, the importance of what uh, Cameron Little has given you. And, I mean, obviously, you just look at the confidence with uh, Coach Pittman. I mean, it, it, it's uh, he didn't bat an eye. A 51-yard year, uh, 51, 51, uh, yard field goal, you know, you, you think uh, the chances are, you know, I don't know, maybe 50-50 from that distance or whatever. But Coach uh, Pittman threw him out there, and, and he nailed it. I mean, uh, and – his confidence level has got to be at uh, just uh, just at a high level, and obviously with the success he had in high school and and then in Coles kicking, I just remember uh, remember talking to Jamie Coles and and and, and what he thought about uh, Cameron. And uh, you know the thing is, as much success as that you have on the high school level and all the rankings, that's 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 great. But uh, you know, so many times we've we've seen some uh, guys that were highly talented kickers and come to Arkansas and not do so well. And for him to to have the type of season he's having, I mean, that's uh, that's great scouting on Coach uh, Fountain's part and uh, Coach uh, Pittman's part. And, but uh, you get ultimately give the most of the credit to Cameron. Big weekend around our state, not just for for deer hunting, but high school football playoffs begin Friday night and. I know some people that, you know, if your team's eliminated or your team's on a bye this week, which we see uh, in several classifications, you might be looking for a game to go to. Well, it's a few games or matchups you got circled or maybe some future uh, potential Razorbacks people could go out and see this week as the high school football playoffs begin in Arkansas. Well, some of some some of the uh, some of the teams have a uh, or not, have an open day because they're kind of having a bye, but uh uh, that that is a good question because I haven't really looked at the schedule. How, how's that for an answer? <laughs> that's a good. That's a good honest answer right there. So, but I know you know <laughs> I know there's a few teams uh, with with a few players uh, around the state that that people might want to watch. And uh, I know that that you know this is a fun time of the year for a lot of people. As uh, seasons are on the line, uh, to borrow the old cliche, uh, beginning Friday night, and always enjoy uh, playoff time because. Uh, you're going to see a few upsets, and you're, you know it's your last chance to see some of these guys ever play. Well, I do. I mean, I, now now that I'm looking at the schedule a little bit, uh, Caden Henley uh, from uh, uh, Shiloh Christian, they'll, they'll be a host in Cave City. Obviously, he's committed to Arkansas, and, and a guy that uh, uh, you know he 
that's it, fun to watch because he's so active at, as a as a uh, as a linebacker. He's closing in on, on 100 tackles, uh, which basically that's what he's done since he's been in high school. So uh, he he's one to watch. And then if you if you want to see Joe T. Robinson and Marion Harris, six, he's only six seven three seventy. You may have difficulty finding <laughs> him, but uh, which one's uh, the guy the Richard's talking line. about? Yeah, it won't be. Yeah, hard. yeah. <laughs> they're playing Bills. Uh, 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 so, uh, you know, there's a, there's a couple of guys that, uh, you could try to try to go see. And then, uh, I think, uh, Clarendon and, uh, Quincy McAdoo, who I just absolutely love. And I think will have a very, very good career at Arkansas, uh, was playing beard and uh, Friday night. Uh, he's very, very, uh, explosive. And, uh, when he gets in the open field, I mean, he, he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of a Gary Anderson. Yeah. Well, Richard, we appreciate your uh, kind of your updates, and I, I know the Khalil Ware. For those wondering, Khalil Ware is uh, signing with the Oregon Ducks tomorrow in North Little Rock. So, I wanted to update everyone else on that, and we appreciate your updates as we do every Thursday, my man. All right, buddy. We'll see you guys. And uh, uh, what about the Sunday? My favorite oh Sunday. yeah, it's it's National Sunday Day. What is your favorite Sunday, Richard? I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be uh, different. Say hot foot Sunday, huh? <laughs> nice and easy. Mm. So simple. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Sometimes the simple's the best, right? Absolutely. Throw some nuts on there, and you're good. Good to go. All right, buddy. Enjoy it. Get a hot foot Sunday today. Will do. We're See back ya. and better than ever. A new web interface to start the basketball season, and more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all basketball and football action this season. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your fifty percent welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code Believe Fifty to receive your bonus. That's B L E A V Fifty to receive your bonus from basketball football and baseball postseason nhl boxing and ufc right to your favorite vegas casino games don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports bet online where the game starts 